Elio guys and welcome back so today's video is going to be on how to earn gold this one has been requested by a lot of you after the after the Astro Gym video so I figured hey man let's go ahead and do it let's see how your boy earns the gold and uh, let's go ahead and get this party rolling I hope everyone's doing well so there's a couple of different ways that we can earn gold in MSL and I'm just gonna show you guys the very very minute few ways that I earn gold one of course is doing the daily gold dungeon you earn 300k in like two three seconds flat pretty much after you get to a certain point in the game great way to get 300k of course do that all day but you're gonna be like elio that's not enough it's never enough it's never enough so the real true money maker isn't colossus it's the golem dungeon it is b8 unfortunately it is b8 and this is my b10 team but for B8, uh, I try to run my B8 with minimum of two Monas, and then preferably two other Mons on Siphon sets. I actually run two Monas and both my Light and Dark Sarahs for B8, and my run time in, my run time is normally less than a minute. It's around 50 seconds. So B8 is the number one money maker. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You can make money in B10 as well, but my runs are a little bit slower in B10. So if I'm strapped for cash. I'm doing B8. I'm spamming B8 all day, every day, up until Heroes Fest or right around Heroes Fest, and I start slamming away that gold. But there's nothing else I can really tell you guys about making money other than spamming the crap out of B8. Make sure you get two Monas. Make sure you get your runtime below one minute as soon as possible, and just slam the crap out of B8. Uh, another good tip I want you guys to know is when you're farming, if you're like leveling mons, please don't go over here to the XP bonus stage. Please don't go to the XP bonus stage. When I'm leveling mons, I always have my runs set on gold bonus. I always go for the gold bonus, especially if you have mons with a siphon set. The time it takes to run a stage doesn't really hurt at all. So definitely set it to gold bonus instead of XP bonus because you're earning you're earning more gold per run versus more XP. So you're Making money while you're doing this, obviously not a lot, but if you're doing 100 runs, 200 runs every single day, and you're doing it on gold because you're trying to farm out for a Gemini or whatever exotic or maybe Miho because you finally got a dark Miho, this is what you have to do. This is what you should be doing. Like, I don't run anything on the XP stages anymore. I just do pure gold because I need gold more than I need experience, and those monsters will get max level one day, whether it's through me running the gold bonus stages or just me using fruits and just normally playing the game so there's no other way around that that's just a tip that you guys should use especially if you're later on in the game and addressing the b8 situation hey elio i'm running b8 but i'm not making that much money or i'm burning more money than what i'm bringing home your problem lies in your gems and I'll show you guys what I personally do with my gems. So I'll run B8. I normally am very, very lazy. And I'll just let my gems max out. And once that run is done and B8's like, hey man, we can't run this anymore because our gem slots are full. I come over here to my gems. And because of where I'm at in the game, I don't keep five star gems. If it's a five star gem and it's not like a siphon gem or like a pugilist gem, even those are kind of low, but if it's not one of those and they don't have a percent on them for a stat that I want, like HP, crit rate, or maybe attack, or maybe defense, then I sell them. I sell them. Anything five star, I just automatically sell. Now, if you're earlier in the game, get what gems you can get. Get your mods up to six stars as soon as you can. We'll worry about that later. But if you're mid to late game, sell all your five star gems and sell your six star gems as well. I know it hurts, but you have to get rid of them in order to make money. And I may be saying, hey Elio, but which ones do I get rid of? How do I know what to get rid of? Well, personally, I divide my gems up into certain categories. Like I'll keep life, I'll keep some life, I'll keep some protection, some conviction. I don't really like vitality, but sometimes I get occasional good ones with good subs on them. I keep the valor, intuition, and ruin. The rest, like the healing set, Gem of Healing, I don't bother with that. It gives you a flat bonus. Garbage, I don't bother with Fortitude either. Again, flat bonus, garbage. 
Ferocity, again, flat bonus, garbage. And Tenacity, again, flat bonus, garbage. So if I get any colors of these, I just sell them. I just sell them. I mean, occasionally, as you guys can see, I get some good subsets on them. That one's not good. That one's not good. That one probably needs to be sold. But occasionally, you'll come across some good substats on them. And then in that event, I will keep them. But if the substats like that one isn't great at all, I would just get rid of it. Just just sell it. You don't need it. You don't need it. Unless it has amazing substats, sell it. And now, you say, and now you're going to say, hey, Elia, well, I have the life like you. I have the protection, the conviction, the valor, the intuition, and the ruin. That's when I go through here and I make pick. So number one, all the gems that I choose have to be percent. They have to have a percent on them. If they are flat, they're automatically sold. No ifs, ands, buts about it. I don't care what subset they have on them. They are sold. Get them out of here. Make sure they are percents. So HP, hey, I'll keep that gem. Attack, I'll keep all the ones with percents first. And then after I have all the percents done and I have everything separated, I go through once again and I check the substats on them. With attack substats, that has to have, it has to have a crit rate substat on it for me to keep it. I would prefer crit rate and resist, but you can't get everything you want. But this one doesn't have crit rate or resist on it, so that one's sold. I'm going to get rid of that one. This HP gem I will keep because it has resist and crit rate on it, which it could potentially turn into quite an amazing gem uh if rng jesus is nice to me the attack one has crit rate and resist i'll keep that one and try and just increase it this one has crit rate on it i will keep that one and i try to at least go for two subs minimum at least one sub needs to be what i want on it if not i sell it if it doesn't have crit rate on it and it's attack gem i sell it if it doesn't have crit rate on it and it's a defense gem because i do have defense aggressors i sell it hp HP needs to just have resist very, very minimum, but I would like crit rate on that as well. Like that one, I would keep that one, at least for the time being. I'll keep that one because that does have crit rate for it at the time being. Now, once you get super duper late, like beyond my level, you're going to only keep gems that have three, four subs that you want on it because you don't want to waste your time with it. But I like to play with RNGs a little bit and see if I can get some good rolls, which I do occasionally get them but i just go through it just like this if it has crit rate on it i'll keep it resist on it i'll keep it i do keep some recovery gems as well i forgot to mention that it's so it's hp attack defense crit rate for intuition and ruin sets only i keep crit rate for intuition and ruin sets only the other gems i sell crit rate everything if it's not intuition or ruin um that one that gem i'm gonna sell that gem because i don't like it Mmm, I don't like that one either. Actually, no, that one has the fence and resist on it. That one's not too bad. Uh, this one has crit rate on it. I'm getting rid of that one. Getting rid of this one. Mm, not too bad. I'll keep that one for now. Keep that one for now. That one for now. That one's fine. And I've done this yesterday. Those are fine. Those are fine. That one kind of sucks, but I keep the crit rate ones for this one. And especially with intuition set, if these don't have crit rate on them, I sell them. Because you're not going to hit max crit rate on them if you're using intuition set without crit rate sub. So if there's no crit on your attack, defense, HP for intuition or ruin, just sell it. It's useless. It's it's not going to get you what you want. Give it up. Actually, that crit rate one can stay. You can never go wrong with crit rate. Like this one doesn't have any crit rate on it. It's sold. This one, sold. I'll keep that one. No crit rate, sold. Just like that. Bada boom, bada bang. These are okay. That's crit rate on it, so I'll keep it. I'll keep the crit rate ones. But that's pretty much how I do it. So, quick recap. Not to make this video 85 billion minutes long. When you're farming stages, don't do XP bonus. Make sure you're doing your gold dungeon every single day. And back to number one, when you're farming stages, make sure you're doing it on the gold bonus and, uh, and not XP bonus. Number three, golems B8 is how you earn money. I don't care what you do unless you can run golems B10 in under 50 seconds because you have, you know, four light radices. That's your number one moneymaker. If you can run B10 at the same time, 
well, at, yeah, within the same time limit as B8, then make that your money maker. But hands down, B8 is the best way to get money. It's the easiest way to get money. Sell all your five star gems. Sell any six star gems that potentially set wise you deem useless yourself. Again, it's based on your own needs for your mons and then go through all of your six star gems and make sure they have at least two subs that you would like or at least a minimum of one sub that you would like and like i said i prefer them to have at least two lines on them already three and four is a bit more picky because then you'll probably get like no gems whatsoever but you know i like to have some handy so i can at least play around with them and see if they lead any lead into anything you know awesome and amazing but that's pretty much the way I earn gold I mean that's it I mean there's nothing incredible or nothing exciting about it that's it but um I definitely hope this video helps if you guys have any questions feel free to let you know it let your boy know in the comments below and I'll see you guys later Peace.